Google just made a move that could change the tech world forever, dropping a jaw-dropping $75 billion into AI infrastructure. This isn't just about building more data centers or training bigger models. It's about redefining who controls the future of cloud computing, how businesses scale, and what kind of tech innovations we'll see next. In this video, we're breaking down what this massive investment really means for startups, cloud providers, developers, and even global economies. If you've been wondering where AI is headed and who's going to lead the charge, buckle up because things are moving fast. Why Google is betting big on AI infrastructure. Google's $75 billion investment in AI infrastructure is a clear signal that the company sees artificial intelligence as the backbone of the next era of computing. This massive bet isn't just about hype. It's about building the physical and digital foundation needed to dominate in AI services. From custom-designed TPUs tensor processing units to expanding its global network of data centers, Google is positioning itself to handle the enormous compute power required by large-scale AI models like Gemini and beyond. The goal is to make sure they're not just a leader in AI research, but also the go-to platform for deploying it at scale. This investment also reflects the increasing demand from businesses looking to integrate AI into their workflows. Google Cloud is already competing with Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. But what sets Google apart is its vertical integration of AI, from foundational models to APIs to custom hardware. By doubling down on infrastructure, Google aims to reduce latency, improve performance, and offer more competitive pricing. It's also about owning more of the stack so they can innovate faster without relying heavily on third-party components. Beyond performance, Google's long-term strategy likely involves turning its AI infrastructure into a profit center. As more companies look to adopt AI solutions, Google wants to be the engine behind those applications. This could mean offering enterprise-ready AI platforms, selling access to AI supercomputing, or licensing its hardware and tools. In a world where data is the new oil, Google is building the refinery, pipelines, and distribution network all in one. What this means for cloud providers and startups. Google's massive AI infrastructure investment puts serious pressure on other cloud providers to either match its scale or carve out niche advantages. For giants like Amazon and Microsoft, it signals an arms race not just in AI features, but in the raw power and efficiency of the infrastructure behind them. Smaller cloud providers may struggle to keep pace with the level of capital and innovation Google is deploying, potentially leading to further market consolidation. The gap between the top-tier hyperscalers and everyone else is widening fast, and AI is the catalyst. For startups, this move is a double-edged sword. On one hand, access to Google's advanced AI infrastructure could supercharge innovation, making it easier to build, train, and deploy powerful models without needing massive in-house resources. On the other hand, relying too heavily on one dominant provider could lead to long-term vendor lock-in and limited flexibility. Startups will need to weigh the benefits of high-performance tools against the risk of becoming overly dependent on a single ecosystem. It also means the landscape for AI tooling, APIs, and platform services is about to shift dramatically. Startups that previously filled gaps in infrastructure may find themselves competing with Google's increasingly turnkey AI solutions. However, this opens new doors too, especially for startups building industry-specific AI products or focusing on lightweight, edge-based AI. With Google setting the bar so high on infrastructure, there's a growing opportunity for nimble players to focus on speed, specialization, and unique user experience to stand out. How businesses and developers will be affected. Businesses and developers are likely to feel the impact of Google's AI infrastructure investment in both empowering and disruptive ways. On the positive side, enterprises will gain access to faster, more efficient, and scalable AI tools that can transform operations. From customer service automation to real-time data analytics and personalized marketing, 
Developers in particular will benefit from deeper integration with Google's suite of AI models and APIs, enabling them to build smarter applications without needing to manage the heavy technical lifting of infrastructure. However, with great power comes greater dependency. As Google consolidates its dominance in the AI space, businesses may find themselves increasingly locked into Google's ecosystem, where switching costs and proprietary systems make it harder to diversify providers. This could lead to pricing pressure down the line or limitations on customization and data control. Developers may also need to adapt to constantly evolving tools, frameworks, and platform rules as Google iterates on its infrastructure and offerings at a rapid pace. At the same time, the investment raises the bar for what users expect from AI-powered products. Businesses that don't integrate AI risk falling behind competitors that leverage Google's capabilities to deliver smarter, faster, and more personalized experiences. For developers, it's both a challenge and an opportunity to stay ahead of the curve, master new tools, and contribute to a wave of innovation that's being supercharged by one of the world's most powerful tech platforms. Is this the beginning of the end for traditional cloud services? The rise of AI-first infrastructure could signal a major shift away from traditional cloud services as we know them. Historically, cloud platforms focused on offering storage, compute power, and scalability for general-purpose workloads. But with Google's massive investment in AI, the focus is shifting toward intelligent, purpose-built systems optimized for machine learning, automation, and real-time decision-making. This means the traditional model of Rent-A-Server is evolving into Rent-A-Brain, where AI capabilities are baked directly into the infrastructure layer. As this shift accelerates, businesses may no longer choose cloud providers based purely on pricing or uptime. They'll be selecting platforms based on the strength of their AI ecosystems. Traditional cloud offerings like raw compute and storage may become commoditized, while value shifts to advanced AI services, pre-trained models, and infrastructure designed specifically for neural networks. This could leave legacy providers scrambling to reinvent their services or risk becoming obsolete in a landscape that now prioritizes intelligence over capacity. For developers and IT teams, this evolution requires a new mindset. It's no longer just about managing workloads in the cloud. It's about designing applications that can learn, adapt, and evolve with the data they consume. Organizations that embrace this shift early will be better positioned to build next-gen applications and remain competitive. Those that cling to traditional cloud models may find themselves outpaced by more agile AI-native competitors leveraging platforms like Google's new infrastructure as their launch pad. The Global Ripple Effect – Tech, Jobs, and Innovation Google's $75 billion AI infrastructure investment is more than a company move. It's a global signal that the AI arms race is entering a new phase. As one of the world's tech giants doubles down, other nations and companies are under pressure to respond, either by boosting their own AI initiatives or forming strategic alliances. Governments may ramp up investments in AI education, research, and infrastructure to avoid falling behind, while global cloud providers and telcos start exploring new ways to partner or compete on the AI frontier. This one move could set off a domino effect in tech policy, investment trends, and public-private innovation across continents. From a jobs perspective, this shift will reshape the tech workforce dramatically. Demand for AI specialists, data engineers, and cloud architects will surge, but so will the need for upskilling in fields like cybersecurity, compliance, and AI ethics. Traditional IT roles may shrink or morph as companies automate more tasks and rely on smarter infrastructure. At the same time, entirely new job categories could emerge around managing, interpreting, and customizing AI systems. Countries that adapt quickly through education reforms, workforce development, and startup support will be better positioned to ride this wave instead of being swept away by it. Innovation will also accelerate, not just in Silicon Valley, but globally. Startups and research labs worldwide will gain access to tools once only available to elite companies. 
With Google leading the way in democratizing AI infrastructure, more entrepreneurs from emerging markets could develop breakthrough solutions for local and global problems, from agriculture and healthcare to fintech and education. The ripple effect won't just be about catching up to Google, it'll be about unlocking entirely new ecosystems of possibility. Whether you see this as the beginning of a tech renaissance or the start of AI monopolies, one thing's clear, Google is reshaping the game. Traditional cloud services may never look the same, and for businesses, developers, and innovators, adapting fast could be the difference between leading and lagging. What do you think? Does this investment push us closer to a smarter future, or are we entering dangerous territory? Drop your thoughts in the comments, like if you found this helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the biggest moves in tech. Until next time, stay sharp and stay building.